What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got another one from WrestleMania. Triple H and AEW, WWE canceling big return. Shane McMahon went insane in other wrestling news. I'm interested about this. Some of you guys have already sent me this video. Wanted me to check this out only because there are some reports. I guess Tony Khan released a tweet saying someone will be making their debut this Wednesday on AEW Dynamite. And I'm going to try to live stream that for you guys uh, this week. I wasn't able to do it last Wednesday to see the MJF CM Punk match live on stream with you guys. Only because me and Dub, we were setting up our gaming PCs at the studio. I did check out that match off camera and I did enjoy it. So I'm going to try to stream this week. I should be able to. I'm going to try to clear my schedule so we can see who's supposedly returning or making their debut in AEW. And some people are saying Triple H. I don't know about that. Let's get into this one. This should be an interesting one. Appreciate all love and support. Let's do this thing. What is going on, guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Triple H and AEW. Yeah, that's insane a insane Shane that's McMahon a crazy World one. Rumble plans revealed. Randy Orton's direct order to Shane McMahon during the Rumble. A fired superstar's return cancelled. Bray Wyatt resurfaces and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook yeah, for exclusive him, lists. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at Triple H in AEW. Now, AEW president Tony Khan has been hyping a surprise debut for mm -hmm. the next week's edition of AEW Dynamite. Khan claims that a mystery wrestler will walk through the forbidden door and make their AEW debut. According to Reddit user King Bradford, this mystery could be Triple H. Now, the Reddit user's justification for this is mainly down to how much Khan is hyping the debut and the fact that he's mentioned how the debut could be from any wrestling company in the world. In one of Khan's tweets, he states, even if it's someone from a company that's open for business. This is a quote that Triple H has used in a number of high profile interviews. Could you imagine Triple H entering the forbidden door and being in AEW? Worlds would be shattered. Yeah, I can't see it. I just, I th I, there's no way. I grant it. What they've done to Triple H's NXT, what he built and, you know, how he, you know, cultivated that brand and how they're pretty much, if you were a Triple H guy, you're pretty much out the door. There's only a hand few that are left in NXT like that. How they kind of pushed them to the side, you would think so, but I just, I just don't see it. After all these years, after them doing what they've been doing with the Wednesday Night Wars, if you remember that, like, I just don't see it. I, I, I cannot see Triple H in AEW only because he may not be doing a, a like active role behind the scenes uh, in NXT. But I, I, come on, bro, he's married to Stephanie McMahon. I just, I wouldn't, I could never see that. Could it happen? Maybe, but it's a small chance. If that was to happen, that would shake up everything. Granted, I don't think he would be an on-screen presence either. If you think about it, he would be like a behind-the-scenes type of guy. There's, he's not about to be wrestling, so that's another reason why I don't think it's him. For them to hype up an on-screen, like a well behind-the-screen presence, someone that's going to manage the talent or whatever, I just, I just don't see it. I don't see it. I think that's just kind of a, a crazy rumor that they put out there. But, hey, man, you never know. I just don't see it. Next up, insane Shane McMahon Royal Rumble plans revealed. Oh, boy. Now, our next story looks at Shane McMahon and the crazy <clears throat> plans that Shane tried to implement last Sunday at the Rumble. This week's news has been dominated by Shane as fans have learned that Shane was extremely problematic backstage at the pay-per-view mm. and was trying to book himself to look as strong as possible. Later in the week, it was revealed that Shane had been quietly let go from WWE, which was clear evidence that Shane's conduct at the Rumble was completely out of line. But according to a brand new report published by Fightful Select, Shane actually wanted to enter the Rumble match at entrant number one. This would see Shane enter the match at a prominent position and virtually dominate the airtime right up until his elimination at the end of the match. No. What in the hell was Shane thinking? He wanted to enter in potentially at number one? And last all the way to the end? No. No. That's no. Yeah, Shane was going to pull an Iron Man. The report added, several sources have indicated that Shane McMahon specifically wanted to go in a spot that would highlight him with one even mentioning that he pitched the number one spot. 
However, we're told that Vince McMahon personally came along as he said that he'd be making changes to the match and wouldn't be doing much of what Shane laid out. Instead of following Shane's booking ideas, WWE opted to place AJ Styles in the number one position. Shane, however, would still receive a decent showing in the Rumble by eliminating Kevin Owens and making it to the final four. Next up, Randy Orton's direct order to Shane McMahon. Speaking of the controversial Shane McMahon, another report published by Fightful Select states that Shane was involved in a bizarre interaction with Randy Orton backstage at the Rumble. The report states that Shane was supposed to enter the match at number 29 and Orton was supposed to enter at number 28. However, Shane's music played at spot 28 instead of Orton's. Mm -hmm. This led to a confusing interaction where Shane would react hastily before Orton demanded Shane that he wasn't going to enter the match using Shane's own theme song. This forced Shane to enter the match earlier than expected. It looks like this year's Rumble was handled rather poorly by WWE creative yeah. and production. There was clear confusion on the part of talent and the supports the reports from earlier in the week that the morale was extremely low backstage following the pay-per-view. Next up- Yeah, man, you can tell a lot of this was just kind of last minute, last minute booking. It just, this is why you, you take your time to book your shows, especially a big show like the Royal Rumble. You take your time to really figure out Who's gonna be where? Who's gonna win it? They should have known who they who was gonna win. And the reports are saying that they were they were really going with Matt Riddle winning, but then they just change it. And it's like, yo, no, man. I, I get it. They're trying to get Roman to to face um uh, Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania this year. There's ways to do it without, once again, I'm gonna stand by what I say. There's ways to do it without having Brock Lesnar win the Royal Rumble. He could have had Matt Riddle win it. It would have been a great story to tell. But once again, WWE, they, they go for the, you know what, someone's coming, let's, let's get this person to come back and change our plans. And ultimately, it kind of messes up what people who've been there day in, day out, all year, it, it, it derails their push because... Oh, well, we, we got to go with this match because this is going to be the money-making match. And it may bring in some money, but there's ways to make it work where everyone could benefit from it. Step up fire WWE superstars cancel return. Now, it was reported a number of weeks ago that WWE Hall of Famer Kurt Angle was set for a return to WWE. Angle was going to be involved in a three-week-long storyline, but how this storyline would have played out hasn't been revealed. Fans had hoped that he would see Angle return for one more match after Angle's rather luck last a retirement match about WrestleMania 35. Yeah, that shit was Sadly, it looked like this planned return has been cancelled by WWE. Angle revealed that WWE have decided to scrap the plans that would see him return to the company. Discussing the Knicks' return on his podcast, Angle revealed, We went to the Rumble and I also did some documentary interviews a day before and a photo op with the fans. But I want to make it clear, I'm not signed with the WWE. They were going to sign me anyway was going to be a three-week program. It got cancelled. And no doubt those who are looking forward to seeing Angle return will be very disappointed, but hopefully WWE consider utilizing Angle for a future storyline. Would you guys like to see Angle make another return to WWE? To be honest with you, no. Only because, I granted his last run sucked the way it ended, um, but no. I, 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 I get it. He wants to go out on a better term in WWE, and I think that's, that's all fair. I mean, the Undertaker did it as well. So if they could do it correctly, then yes. But outside of that, um, if they don't have anything really creative to book for him, he might as well just stay gone. Uh, I love me some Kurt Angle, but at the end of the day, it's just better not to taint his legacy, the end of his legacy, even more by putting him in a, a BS storyline and just have him still you know it, it, it don't work you know what i'm saying i just rather they just leave it where it is now let us know in the comments down below next up mickey james's wwe return had set conditions our fans were shocked when it was revealed that current impact wrestling knockouts champion mickey james would enter this year's 2022 women's royal rumble according to will washington from the grap city podcast mickey's return had set conditions for instance, the WWE commentators were not allowed to say Impact Wrestling. They had to refer to the company as Impact and Impact only. Mm. Additionally, WWE social media team wasn't permitted to tag Impact Wrestling on social media. 
Although Mickey showing up at the Rumble was beneficial to both Mickey and Impact Wrestling, it's clear from these conditions that WWE wanted to prevent Impact from receiving the recognition it deserved. Uh... The involvement of Mickey in the Rumble simply comes down to WWE needing a recognizable face in the match, and Mickey was a perfect superstar for this. That Impact shared the appearance across social media as well as airing footage on their latest episode of Impact, so it seems like they were rather happy with whatever promotion they received. Next up, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, that is that is dope of Mickey James. Like, yo, if you want me to come back, you gotta announce the brand that I'm with. You gotta call the brand correctly on commentary. You gotta tag them on social media. That's what's up. You, they needed her. She wasn't trying to be in a rumble. It's just because they don't have anyone else, or they did not. They didn't put anyone else. I don't think they really put anyone from NXT in the Women's Royal Rumble. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but they, they really didn't. That's on them. That's that's on WWE. It's their fault. The women's division is where it is now. Mickey slams the World Rumble booking. One of the biggest criticisms of the Women's Royal Rumble match was that Melina was eliminated in just one minute. Yeah. Melina entered the match at number two, and she received one of the biggest ovations of the entire pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. A brief stint in the Rumble didn't just get slammed by fans, it also received criticism from Impact Wrestling Knockouts champion Mickey James. During an appearance on the GAW podcast, Mickey revealed, I didn't love that at all. I didn't love that. You know, her entrance, people did exactly what they knew they were going to do. They erupted like, holy shit, it was good to see her back. She hadn't been in WWE for over a decade, mm -hmm. so I think that was amazing to see her get teared up, and it was awesome. I didn't love the whole set got eliminated first. No, I didn't love that because obviously I wanted to be able to get in with her and tangle it up. That would have been cool. Have these moments with some of the other girls, you know. I know it was special for Sasha, and I know Sasha. I know it was special for Sasha to be there with her. And hopefully WWE brings back Melina for another match as yeah, bro, that was kind of weird. You bring her out just for her to get eliminated so quickly. I was like, yo, they could have let her last a little bit longer than that. We, people hadn't seen her in a long time. So just to see that and she getting emotional within the match, she hadn't been there in so long. It's like, they could have did better. Especially due to the positive response to her brief Rumble appearance. With Charlotte Flair set to defend the SmackDown Women's title against Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania, perhaps WWE could book Melina vs. Sasha Banks in a special dream match. This would be that something that would no doubt lighten up the seemingly average WrestleMania 38 match card. That would be cool. Next up, Bray Wyatt resurfaces. Or, or in uh, shout out to JD from NY. He had a, a pretty good uh, pretty good uh, scenario. Um, if you. If you if you know anything about the wrestling community, you know about JD. And some of you guys may like him, some of you guys may not like him. But I will say this: he did come up with something pretty cool. Having Sha Sasha Banks be input into the put into the the uh, the match between Charlotte and uh, Ronda Rousey, I think that would make it better a triple threat match. Since Charlotte did kind of announce saying, "Yo, I sent over a contract to you, Sasha, so we can get this match going at WrestleMania." So maybe they can go with that storyline. Like she got the contract, she already signed it. So, but now you know Ronda's in the match. I think that triple threat will be a okay because I I just I'm honest with be honest with you guys. Ronda versus Charlotte, do I don't really care. I don't. I, I honestly do not care about that match as much. But if you add Sasha into the mix, I think it adds a lot more spice to it. And I think people will be more interested because it's like, damn, who? You know, it, it makes it less predictable because we know. We know Charlotte's not winning. But you add Sasha in there, maybe they could pull a swerve. Who knows? I, it would be interesting to see what they do there. So shout out to JD. Uh, he definitely did come up with that pretty cool idea. Ever since Bray Wyatt's shocking release in the summer of last year, Bray has been relatively quiet when it comes to public appearances. Uh -huh. We know that Bray is set to feature in an upcoming horror movie, but it's still unknown when or even if Bray will return to in-ring action. This weekend, Bray resurfaced on the former Intercontinental Champion John Morrison's Instagram page as Bray alongside Morrison were attending a wedding and fans were quick to point out how awesome Bray looks. He looks healthy and most importantly, happy. Mm -hmm. When do you think Bray will return? Let us know in the comments down below. And finally, Keith Lee and Mia Yim get married. Now, and it's good to see that he's happy and healthy. That's how it should be. That's Final how it should story be. today takes a look at some wonderful news for the former WWE stars Keith Lee and Mia Yim. 
Tegan Knox shared an image of the couple on Instagram yesterday and fans were quick to share their well wishes towards mm -hmm. the duo. We here at WrestleMania wish Lee and Yim all the best in the next chapter. But there you have it, oh, folks. for sure, man. I talked about it in a previous video. Glad that they, they finally tied the knot. Wish them nothing but future greatness and success and whatever they do together man but this was an interesting video uh i'm gonna be honest with you i still don't see triple h in aew i just think that's a huge leap and i don't think they would announce i mean i could see them announcing something like that maybe but he would be a backstage presence if anything i don't see him having any more matches like that anytime soon and i don't think he should uh, i think he should probably just chill on the matches personally not to say that he can't have good ones but i just i just think he should chill on it definitely personally um but other than that man i i just don't see it happening i do not see triple h in aew but comment down below let me know who do you guys think will return will make their debut in aew this week man appreciate all the love and support man road to 70k appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all on the next one peace